Okay, now we're going to look at a much more complex type of sort. This is called a shell sort. Uh, it actually is uh, usually better than O uh, n squared, and but it uses uh, a increment, a insert sort as part of it that we just covered. So what it does is it creates a uh, actually it does three sorts to start off. So it divides. It has a um, it looks at a list where it just looks at every nth item where you have a gap between them. So here's a increment of three. So we start with this one and we add three and we get this one and we add three and get this one. So we take basically every um, was it the first one and then every third item after that. So you sort these three items using just regular insertion sort. And then you sort you sort these three items using regular insertion sort. And then you sort these three items using regular insertion sort. Now once you've done that, uh, first of all these three items will have been moved closer to where they eventually go and the same with these three and these three. So now uh, once you've done that all the items are closer to where they go. And uh, basically then once you've done that then you do a smaller gap and you do the same process over and you keep reducing the gap uh, until you get down to the last sort you do, do a regular insertion sort. But by the time you do the regular insertion sort, many of the items will already be where they're supposed to go, so you have to do very little uh, tra tra uh, moving around of all the items. So first you, uh, you have this list and you sort it and then this list and you sort that and this list and you sort that and eventually you get down to where you sort just the final list. Now uh, this shows you actually sorting the final list and you end up only moving in this case three items that you have to move. So let's look at a little animation of it. So you can see the red very quickly is doing the gaps and finally the gaps getting smaller until finally it's doing a regular insertion sort. So I'm going to play it again. Let me initialize it. Now what you want to look for is you're going to see uh, things moving to where the whole list looks more and more sorted as after each run. So now you can kind of see a lot of things are in order. And now they're pretty close. So what happens is they get close to where they go, and as the runs get more, it, everything just has to move a little bit to finally get in the final order. Now, the analysis is beyond this book, um, but it's somewhere between O of n and O of n squared. If you choose the right increment uh, reduction, if you go 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, which is uh, powers of 10 to minus 1, you actually get exactly O of n to the three halves. So it's uh, better than n, but uh, it's, fa it's slower than n, but it's, uh, it's not as slow as n squared. Uh, so that is the shell sort.